Welcome back to The American Dream. Well, we're talking about things to consider today before selling your home, especially if you are a first-time home seller. With my next guest, Ben Parada and Kate Richard, team owners of Ben & Kate Real Estate with Keller Williams. Thank you both so much for being on The American Dream. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. So, uh, Ben, what is the best time to reach out to an agent if you are thinking about potentially putting your home on the market? I think uh, the way we feel about it is definitely early in often. Um, some of the people that we work with, they'll just be starting out. It could be a, a year or two process. Um, a lot of times with us, we'll, we'll meet folks that, geez, they might be doing, you know, preparing to sell in a year or two, and they might be, you know, planning on making some improvements or doing some things to the house that uh, we should definitely talk to them about. Um, we've had a lot of sellers um, plan on doing things that probably wouldn't be such a good idea. So we're able to get in there and, and talk to them a little bit and, and point them in the right direction for sure. So, uh, you know, again, we work with people sometimes year, two, three years before they put in the house on the market. So I think as soon as you're thinking about it, I think it's a really good idea to, to give us a buzz and have us come in and take a look at your property. I know that you both have said the sooner you can offer advice, the better, the smoother the process ends up being in the end. Is that true? Absolutely. We want to help people make good decisions about their dollars when they're getting ready to list. And the time horizon has a big impact on what you should spend and where in your home. Kate, what are some common concerns then that first time home sellers typically have? The main concern that we have in this market in Boston is that people are concerned about where they're going to go. So they're not sure if they should list their home first or if they should find a property to go to. And it's kind of that chicken or the egg scenario where we're not quite sure exactly which to do first. And that's what we wanna help people decide. Sure, sure. What about people that are on the fence about potentially renovating their home or maybe doing some add-ons versus selling? Do you ever have those conversations? We, we absolutely do. There's a yeah. lot of people that are thinking about doing that. And, um, it really comes down to a lot of times the cost of it and, and what the future plans are. Uh, a lot of times with Kate and I will talk to people about is um, how long you plan on staying, staying in the home. I mean, if you're going to do an addition in this market, the, the cost of building materials and different things like that, if you're going to do an addition and try to move in two or three years and you want to make money on the home, sometimes that's not going to happen. So. We have conversations like that all the time of, you know, the benefit of staying or going and um, we'll give people a cost analysis of, you know, what the home will be worth before the renovation and after the renovation and then also try to help them see what the market will offer them as well. Sure, absolutely. Well, since this is both of your first time on The American Dream, I do want to set the record straight about something. I, I hear that many, many people think that you two are married, but that isn't the case, is it? No, we are business partners. We're, we have our own spouses. We're not married to each other, but it is a common misconception for sure. Yeah, we have a lot of fun with it. A absolutely. Everyone, our, our competitors, um, a lot of the, the homeowners we work with, it's, it's pretty funny. But yep, nope, we're happily married, just not to each other. <laughs> Just not to each other. Well, you, you are incredibly successful in the business that you are running. I know that you're both top producing agents. And you actually brought along a listing with you to share with us today about another property that you have on the market. Tell me about this property. Yeah, it's in Hanover. Go ahead, Ben. Uh, yeah, absolutely. 160 Shingle Mill Lane, um, a colonial, four-bedroom colonial, um, just over 2,500 square feet, um, located in an awesome neighborhood. I, it, Hanover, the town of Hanover, is about uh, 25 minutes south of Boston. Um, people really love the town. It's right on a nice side street. The school system's excellent. Um, and for those people commuting into Boston, you just can't beat it. It's a tremendous it's a home. Location. Um, it's a nice flat lot, again, perfect for just about anyone, a growing family, or anyone looking to live just south of Boston in a great area. Fantastic. And as we know, location is everything. Ben and Kate, thank you so much for being on the American Dream today. Thank you. Thank you very much. And for our viewers watching, we would love to engage with you on social media or reach out to us on our website, americandreamnetwork.tv. And we will be right back with more of the American Dream.